Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video let's discuss about V3 which has its new version release now, a new major version release, version 3 is out now which is one of the fastest servers development servers available right now, competes directly with Webpack and the likes in the local development system and is heavily used by online runners. We also use it, Stackplitz uses it, Replit uses it, so a lot of companies have adopted Weed as a you know runner for different applications. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So its third version has been released. It includes a bunch of starter templates which you can see and uh, yeah you can just get started with Weed immediately with the uh, less boot time, less compilation time, it's ESM, it's super fast and it just works out of the box. So in a nutshell, let's just take a look at what are some major changes in V3 and how can you start with working with V3 today. So if you go to vjs.dev, you're gonna see a new documentation page where you can get started with the tooling as a whole, right? So you can start looking at the docs, you can start working with it, and that's a different story. Maybe we need a different playlist for that. For now, if we take a look at some core changes, I don't feel like there is any substantial API level change which developers need but it's more about internal improvements, inbuilt improvements, CLI improvement for example. The WebSocket connection strategy has been improved. This is again something which you as a developer who's working on Weed don't necessarily need to take care of because this is all happening internally. Cold start improvements, Weed has gotten even faster. So last time, you know, it will have a process like this where it will do a bunch of things. I mean, I've not really seen this diagram myself, but it seems like they have reduced a bunch of steps in order to make sure that the apps now start even faster. There are a few more internal API changes which you can see and WebAssembly changes, again, which benefits you as a developer, but it's not like a strict requirement for you to know or understand these changes in order to work with Weed on React, let's say. Weed has also gotten smaller in version 3, which is always a nice thing that, you know, you have a little less footprint of the framework which you're using. So that's also a good thing. And yeah, there have been multiple bug fixes as well along the way. So let's just go ahead and try to take a look at a Weed playground now on Codedam. So if you go to Codedam playgrounds, you're going to see that our React template has already been updated using Weed 3. So I can say why Weed 3 React template and if I create this playground the first thing you're going to see is if you move to package.json file you're going to see that we are actually using v3 along with react 18 so this is our package.json you can see we are using the third version of Weed along with a react plugin to support it and you see that it boots it boots the server in under 300 milliseconds and it's ready to go you can start working on your react playground on code dam and it's just going to start reflecting it immediately with hot module reloading enabled you know it's super convenient super fast and it saves your changes in the cloud so you just have to have a link to share your weed project or any other project so yeah i mean you can set up a swift project like this you can set up a vue.js project like this which originally i guess wheat was built for but it's interesting to see a framework which is which boots super fast and one of the nice things about this is if you have observed when you reload this, we actually can create a full container from scratch and it does not take a lot of time for Weed to install and run the server itself, right? So you see this yarn install step which happens. It is actually installing a fresh copy. It's not like using any cache or anything and it, it does that within a few seconds. That is literally not possible with Webpack, right? If you're installing, let's say, Create React app or anything like that, they are heavy softwares. They take a bunch of time to install, at least 10 to 15 seconds to set up, but Weed does a fresh installation on a container from start under three seconds or under four seconds, which is super impressive. And you know, if it is already available, for example, then it will be less than a second maybe for installation when it comes to caching or when it comes to strategies like, you know, using bun as an installation mechanism because bun, I think also speeds up a lot of things. We have discussed a lot more about bun in the previous videos, but uh, yeah, I mean, the future is super fast and combine this with cloud, and cloud computing and you have basically environments that can boot up within a few seconds 
on the cloud available over a link just up and running waiting for you to come and resume your coding it's super awesome to see the tooling improve and getting super fast as we move ahead we have finally arrived at a point where i think we are not bloating the software again but actually taking a step back and figuring out how we can improve the existing technology make it faster, make it more performant, make it, you know, just better in a way. And Weed 3, again, is one of those steps in that direction. So, yeah, you can try out this playground. I'll leave this link in the description. You can try out, you can fork this playground. If you open this playground, which you will probably like this. So when you open this playground like this, you will get this fork button, which you can use to create your playground on your own. And, you know, also invite friends like I am online over here so you can invite other friends and see and work with them together on some awesome projects using v3 that is all for this video hopefully you liked it if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching